coming coming off the bye week, uh, you know, um, it, it's been a good situation for us here the last two days. <coughs> Giving them uh, gave them Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Uh, guys were able to get out on the road, and, and, and assistant coaches to be able to get out and recruit. Really happy with how recruiting is going right now. The reception out there has been very good. Uh, the, the, the the team. You know, our, 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 our theory and motivation on this is to get them away from everything Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back uh, Sunday night. We've had, we had a great day yesterday. <laughs> Typically give them a Monday off, but today was a, a no school day because of fall break tomorrow. But today is, uh, is no school because of fall break, so it plays into our hand on being able to get ready to play Texas Tech, which uh, had a good day yesterday with that uh, and, and had, had meetings and and, and another left this morning to be able to get them ready as well. So uh, they, they've done what I've asked them to do once again, you know, which come back in the right frame of mind and, and uh, be, be energetic and be, be excited about the task at hand. Uh, the, the task at hand is, is once again tough. You know, it's, 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 we didn't play very well in the last Big 12 game that we played. Uh, good news is, is we get to get out there and have a chance to redeem ourselves against another top 20 opponent that's undefeated. Uh, I think this is the fourth time that we've played an undefeated team, third, uh, fourth time in the Big 12, I guess, that we played an undefeated ranked team. So, <laughs> so the, the the challenge is, is large, but uh, I can assure you that 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 we are up for the challenge, and and uh, we will put our best foot forward here this week, not only in in preparation, but on, on game day on Saturday, I would expect a very festive atmosphere in, in Morgantown on Saturday. I don't know why that wouldn't be the case. Uh, I, I would assume everybody would be excited about uh, you know get, getting uh, getting to the game I bet on Saturday at noon. Uh, we, we've done this, I guess, the, this three other times. This will be the fourth time that we have went through the routine of a Friday Saturday where we play a noon noon game. So uh, we'll be prepared for that. <laughs> do you think uh, our team will be prepared for what Texas Tech brings to the table uh, offensively? Uh, something that we know very well, obviously, with my history with with, with Cliff and, and, and what he's done offensively, how he operates offensively. Uh, we, we're, we're both cut from the same cloth, so uh, we're going to know what they do offensively. Whether we can stop it is obviously going to be the challenge. They play very high, uh, uh, very up tempo. They're, they're very high energy. Uh, they're playing with guys that are used to playing in that type of an offense. Um, you know, when he got there, he inherited a group and had a lot of experience <coughs> that receiver, running back, and a line uh, that have played in this type of a system. So he, he brings something different to the table from an energy standpoint, uh, a technique, uh, a point of view that gets across to these guys to be able to play with tremendous confidence and tremendous energy. Uh, defensively, they're, they're, I, I thought they were decent last year. Uh, you know, they, they, they slipped as the year went on. Uh, it is new coaches defensively. It's a new scheme defensively. They're executing at a very high level. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's ironic that what they do defensively resembles what we do defensively because it's tough uh, to, to coach against. It, it's tough for the spread offenses the, to coach against the 3-4 the, the defense, which is why we do it here defensively. So. <laughs> you know, the, the fronts will all be the same. There'll be some different concepts in the coverages and stuff. But they, you know, they got about eight returning starters on defense, seven or eight. A lot of the same guys that we played against last year, uh, just in a little bit different scheme. So uh, we'll be familiar with them. They'll be familiar with us. Uh, you know, it should be a great battle in Morgantown, and we're, we're really looking forward to the, to the challenge. So with that, we'll take some questions. Dana, a lot of people use the open week for a self scout opportunity. Did you do that? If you, as you look maybe a little deeper at yourself, what did you find out? Well, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, everybody does that to a to a certain extent. Uh, you know, I, I, I we looked at it like everybody does to try to develop tendencies. Of, you know, <laughs> offensively, we've been subpar at everything, so there's really no tendencies. Uh, the only tendency is is we're not great at anything. So. Um, I, I do. I do. We, we we looked at it very closely. We 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 have identified as coaches, you know, kind of what we do well, what we don't do well, uh, what the direction of our offense is going, where it's going, who who needs to play, who doesn't need to play. We're we're not shifting guys around as much as we have. 
Um, you know, so so do do kind of understand what our personality is offensively. Uh, and now we just got to get good at it. You know, we got to gain some confidence. We got to we got to make some plays. We we we, we, we got to. Um, you know, to continue to try to get better at the small things that we're asking them to do. And then once that happens, I mean, it's going to at some point, you know, pick up some speed, pick up some, some, some steam in order to be able to, to look a little bit better to the human eye, which is the point. You know, I mean, we, we, we've done a decent job of making plays, moving the ball. We haven't done a good job of scoring points, uh, which is obviously a problem. And, and um, it's my job to get us there. I've said it from, from since media days back long before the season started. We've got a lot of inexperienced guys that have never played football. Not an excuse to not be productive, and that's my job to get us there. Who did you see the defense last week? Kind of bounced back from, from Baylor and I mean, their mentality, their, their ability to get right back to it. Well, yeah, they, they, they overcame that. I mean, kids are resilient. I've said that before, you know. I mean, it, it was a poor performance defensively. It was a poor performance offensively. Uh, you know, it, it, it was, you say what it is, it was a little bit of a buzzsaw that, that Baylor played extremely well. I <laughs> uh, can't sit there and dwell on it for, you know, forever. So you know, had to put that one to rest and had to get back out there and, and, and keep working. So uh, that's what we did. And we expect to have a lot better performance defensively on Saturday. Uh, what problems does he present? Uh, a lot. Uh, big, fast, uh, strong, blocks well, runs well, catches well. Uh, pretty good. What year is he? Hopefully he's gone next year. Yeah, hopefully he should come out. Clearly he should come out. <laughs> after he's he, he is. He's what, what he did to us last year, we, we injured him. So he was kind of on the shelf the rest of the year. Uh, but then this year, he's been hard to contain ever since. So we, we saw it up close and personal last year. Uh, he, he's a guy that can do a lot of different things with. He creates a tremendous amount of mismatches uh, for not only us last year, but everybody they've played since then while he's been healthy. So I don't know how you stop him. You try to cover him. You try to, you try to double cover him. And, that it opens up for some of their other pretty good skill guys as well. So he, he poses a lot of problems, and they've done a great job of utilizing him to uh, get first downs and open up things for some other people. What was the best part of your body? What were you happiest with from, from what you got accomplished last year? Yeah, I, I don't know. Ed, you know, just, just I, I told him to come back in the right frame of mind. Uh, you know, here's three days. Go be human beings. Get away from it. Go, you know, I encouraged him to to watch Texas Tech Saturday at noon, which I would assume a high percentage of them did. Uh, enjoy some time off, enjoy some family time, come back ready to work. And, and you know, had a great day yesterday. Uh, have had a great morning so far this morning. So I would think, you know, probably the just, just the regroup and re-energize more. You know, the personality of your team that you mentioned, understanding what your personality is offensively, is that much different than what you saw, or is it maybe focused a little bit more after having looked at six games? Uh, it, it, it's it's kind of been heading that direction. It's no secret that that uh, you know we, we're going to try to establish the run. You know that we want to be a little bit more physical up front than what we've been in the past. Uh, you know, we, we've done a pretty good job, in my opinion, of, of, of getting the play started in the run game. We haven't done a great job of getting the play started in the pass game, <clears throat> which they have to go hand in hand in order to be able to be a good off, uh, good offensive football team. You got to be able to do both. Whether you focus on one or whether you focus on the other, you got to be able to do both. Uh, and, and we've had we've had a, a, a more difficult time in the pass game for a lot of different reasons. A lot of different reasons. Uh, you know, and, and that's not an excuse to not be successful. We got to get better at that, and we focused on it. So, uh, inexperienced in guys all around, you know, catching balls and running routes and timing with the quarterbacks because the quarterbacks are inexperienced, or because we're playing three of them, or whatever it is. Uh, just got to get better at it, get the play started, and, and be able to take advantage of plays downfield when they crowd the box and take away the road. <laughs> How much did your play with change depending on? 
it changes a little bit. It changes a little bit. There's there's certain things that each guy does well, uh, and, um, and I'm sure it's going to come up. And, and, and it's got to be a point to where you know it doesn't matter who the guy is. I mean, we got to be able to execute. We, we've had enough snaps with with each of them to be able to know what they do well and what they don't do well, to where everybody else around them's got to identify that and execute the play that's called. Um, what we're going through, which is unfortunate at the quarterback spot, a lot of other teams are going through it as well. You know, it's happened at Texas, it's happened at Texas Tech, it's, it's happened at Kansas State, it's happened at Oklahoma State, it's happened at Oklahoma. I mean, everybody else is, is dealing with the same thing, and nobody can use that as an excuse not to be successful. So we, we've got three quarterbacks that, that we can put out there and we can play. Um, <laughs> you know, regardless of which one we do it with, we got to be able to execute plays. Uh, based on what play is called, and, and that's what the job of everybody else around the quarterback is. It, it, it is. Would, would I prefer it to be different? Absolutely. I mean, so would everybody else in the Big 12. If you look at the top teams in the country, I mean, the, the top 10 or so teams in the country all have very solid quarterback play with one quarterback. You know, that's the way it was in the Big 12 last year. You know, everybody had a, 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 a solid seasoned, experienced quarterback, and the offenses were generating a lot more yards and points last year than they are this year. It's just the way it is, and everybody, including myself, is going to be able to. So how did your injured quarterback's fear? Uh, good. Uh, I thought, you know, the week off really did Clint well. Really did Clint well. You know, uh, 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 Paul is, is doing the same thing that he's done each and every week. Uh, it does what we ask of him, and, and has been healthy, and has been uh, been doing a good job. Ford probably got a lot more work last week than this week. Probably took a little bit of a toll on him, and he's, he's got to do a little bit better. And for a guy that grew up in the past game, and you know, uh, being successful at it, whether it be with assistant assistant coach or head coach, you have to feel like. Uh, uh, a marathon of being asked to sprint, I guess, or vice versa, maybe a sprinter being asked to run marathon and told he can't sprint without your past game succeeding like that. What, what is the personal feeling about not not having been able to crank it up the way you want it? <clears throat> I deal with it, I guess. You know, I mean, what, what am I going to do about it? Um, you know, it, it, it's uh, it, it's 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 challenging. Um, solid coming. Know, so we've kind of geared what we've done a little bit uh, to try to overcome it a little bit, <coughs> which which I think we can, which I think we have in certain situations. Not not enough to win the three games that we lost against three pretty good teams. Uh, but you know, I just gotta just gotta you know, it, it, and this is something I've had this talk with the offensive coaches. I've had this talk with the offensive staff uh, uh, players over here. Is 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 don't lose sight of. Uh, you know, uh, 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 who we are, and the, the biggest thing is, is just trying to get better at something each and every day. Uh, don't get discouraged by it. Just, just, just work hard at it, and, and keep your confidence high, and get out there and keep doing it. And eventually, it's going to be a little bit better and a little bit easier. I'm telling you, it's so hard for a, for a new quarterback to throw to new receivers. It, it just really is. And, and, and we got so much experience, and experience that he, in, in each position it just doesn't look good at times. Um, but it, it, it'll get better, and it has gotten better, um, and it, it will continue to get better over the next six weeks. Danny, your third down numbers, conversions on offense aren't great. Atrocious. Okay, your word. Um, obviously, it's a third down thing, but are you looking at first and second down to make those easier? Because it doesn't seem like you've been able to do what you want to do to set up good third downs. Part of it, you know, and, and, uh, you know, our, our offensive philosophy is regardless if it's third and short or third and long, we need to, we, we got things in the playbook that we can call to be able to convert that. But, <clears throat> you know, that, that that's defense does different things on third down, which poses a lot of problems for offense. Uh, Tech, Texas Tech does a good job on third down. Uh, you know, shoot, they're getting off the field. 72% of the time. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Uh, so, you know, defenses change what they do. Offenses need to be able to adjust to that. You know, we're, we're still trying to figure out how to do things well 
as opposed to you getting to a point offensively where you're not trying to figure out how to do things well. You're trying to really focus on what the defense is and how to attack it and, and attack it successfully. So, um, you know, with, with, uh, with an average offense and, and a lot of inexperience at key positions, it, it's tough to get first downs on, on second five, let alone third five. So it's it's all part of the process, and it's all part of just 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 gaining experience and gaining knowledge and getting good at what we're asking. You know. Is that similar what like what you answered for Bob a minute ago? That's a different philosophical thing for you this year. Like <coughs> that, is that's part of this whole yeah. challenge you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is, and it, it's there's uh, you, know, you know we 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 tell them to be aware of the situations and know what to expect, and we're gonna prepare them for, for those situations and, and prepare them to know what to expect on the specific third downs. But you know, when, you're ha- when you're having a hard time executing things on first and ten, it, it's a lot harder on third and ten. So, so you, you just got to get good at making routine plays. You got to get good at just, just simple execution of what the play is and try to put the ball in play and get positive yards. Uh, the, the, the more success you have doing that, you'd be surprised how many how many uh, routine plays turn into bigger plays, um, you know, and, and, and just making a guy miss here or there, and then you're, you're getting first downs on second five as opposed to having to deal with third and four. <laughs> stellar high school career. I mean, he was a late bloomer and, and uh, you know, kind of blossomed late, so hasn't been playing old line since he was, you know, 10. Um, but but with, really, really with, with him and a lot, of these, a lot of these junior college guys, if you can afford, which is tough because you recruit junior colleges for a reason, uh, but to have junior college guys come in in red shirt, it really does them a lot of good, especially on old line. And, and, and that we're able to do that with Stone as well, so I would anticipate Stone being being a productive player for us next year after after a redshirt year. If you can afford to do it, it's going to pay off for you. The problem is is having the luxury of being able to do it. How many of our other junior college guys were able to redshirt? Not very many of them, you know. So that that definitely benefited him. So a little bit about Barber and Kwiatkowski and their their situation, and also if they're both healthy. If there's any way you you even consider trying to get them on the field at the same time? Yeah, I would think so. You know, Nick's back. He, he finally, after how, how many, what he missed three games, I guess, or two games. Yeah, uh, close. He, he didn't practice last week. He practiced yesterday. So he, he'll be back in the mix. We'll get him back. <coughs> um, you know, he, he was our most productive linebacker after three games. Uh, three or four games, whatever he played, he was our more, most productive linebacker. He's, he's back and will make us better defensively. Uh, you know, Jared, Jared's a guy that, that is, is solid, uh, you know, much like Doug Rigg is. They're both program guys. They're solid. They're, they're, they're going to try hard to be in the right position. Uh, you know, Nick's a guy that's made some more dynamic plays. So if he's healthy, he'll be a starter. Anybody else health-wise? You said Nick's probably going to be back. Anybody else? Talk about the quarterbacks. Any of those others sort of walk yeah. in with you? Everybody else is good to go. Um, you know, I, Ivan's had a had a the head thing for three weeks now. I don't know what's going on there. If he's going to be cleared to go or not, I, I don't get into the whole head thing, concussion thing. Obviously, uh, Rick, Ricky Rumpf went out of the game um, against Baylor. Uh, he, he'll be he, he'll be he'll be a stretch to play. And then Wes Tonker is out for about six weeks. He, he's the other long-term guy. Uh, broke his thumb, you know, so he's in a big cast or something. So he's, he's going to be out for about six weeks. So he'll be able to be back towards the end of the year. You know, other than that, the long-term guys are all doing well. You know, um, everybody else is probably his day-to-day. Christian Brown's missed a few games this season. Yeah, he, 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 I don't remember if I got, I lose track of this stuff, but he, he's out for the year. He, he had a weight room injury about two, three weeks ago, and you know he, he's able to use this as his redshirt year. He didn't redshirt as a true freshman. Um, you know, 
know, he, he played in the first couple of games, but how the NCAA works the rule that he'll be able to use this as his redshirt year, so he is out for the year. Talk about new quarterbacks throwing new receivers. How important is a, is a bye week from that perspective? I mean, were those guys able to get out there and, and get that timing down, get more work in than maybe they would have in a game week, or, or did they really take that time completely off? Well, no, we went out and we practiced on, on Tuesday and, and, and Wednesday. Uh, light, light practice on Thursday. Not, not as much practice time as we would have had in, in a regular game week. You know, plus we were trying to uh, rep a lot of the younger guys, a lot of the scout team guys, you know, so we had some long, longer practices with those guys. Uh, you know, if you get out there and you, 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 you practice like you're about to prepare for a game, it defeats the purpose of trying to heal up. You know, so you, 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 you want to get out there and practice 40 hours with them to try to get them better, but at what point does that set you back? And at what point does that uh, defeat the purpose of being able to use the, the bye week as, as, as a re-energy thing? So it, it's going to take longer than a week to get all these guys on the same page. When it, you know, and, and nobody's running out of patience more than I am. And I understand people's frustration with it, but uh, you know, we're, we're going to keep plugging along and keep wrapping them, keep practicing them. And, Hopefully it gets done pretty quick. Tanner, are you one of the guys who will use off weeks for special teams? But you really can't do that during the regular season. It's the same thing. Uh, you know, I mean, how much do you want to work on that stuff? Uh, you know, we, we got out there and worked each unit about one day, but how much can you actually get out there and work on it and, 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 and get accomplished what you want to get accomplished with it? So uh, we, we didn't work those very much at all. Thanks, Coach. Sure.